Learn and play online. In today's video, we are going to explore the solar system. The universe is an enormous place. It's so colossal that scientists estimate that it contains 2 trillion galaxies. Our solar system is located in what is known as the Milky Way galaxy. There is only one star at the center of our solar system and it is called the Sun. There are eight planets that orbit the Sun. The word orbit means the path that the planets take to move around the Sun. The gravitational force of the Sun keeps all the planets in their orbiting path. The order of the planets in our solar system starting at the closest to the Sun is Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. The first four planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars are the inner planets and are categorized as terrestrial planets. This means that they are made of primarily rocky material and they have solid surfaces. The terrestrial planets are relatively small and they either have very few or no moons at all. Lastly, the inner planets have no rings around them. Sitting outside the terrestrial planets and in between Mars and Jupiter is the asteroid belt. It was discovered in 1801 by an Italian astronomer named Giuseppe Piazzi. He discovered Sears, which is the only dwarf planet that exists in the asteroid belt and it is the largest object in the region. The asteroid belt is made up of millions of asteroids and they differ in a range of sizes and shapes. The four outer planets furthest away from the Sun, which are Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune, are called the Jovian planets. More specifically, Jupiter and Saturn are the gas giants, and Uranus and Neptune are the ice giants in our solar system. The Jovian planets are incredibly huge in comparison to the terrestrial planets. Because they sit on the outer region of the solar system, all Jovian planets take longer to orbit the Sun. They lack solid surfaces, and unlike the terrestrial planets, all Jovian planets have many moons. Another characteristic that all Jovian planets have in common is that they all have a ring system around them. However, Saturn's ring system is the only one easily visible from Earth. Now that we have learned some general information about the solar system, let's explore each of the planets in more detail. Starting with the closest planet to the Sun is Mercury. Even though it is the closest planet to the Sun, it is not actually the hottest. It is the smallest planet in our solar system. Mercury is a rocky planet that is covered in craters, and it is a little bigger than Earth's very own moon. It does not have any moons of its own, and it spins on its axis very slowly. In fact, one day on Mercury is equivalent to 59 days on Earth. Although it spins slowly, a year on Mercury is very short, as one revolution around the Sun takes just 88 Earth days. The days on Mercury are scorching hot, and the nights are freezing cold. The next planet we are going to explore is Venus. Venus is the second planet from the Sun and it is also the hottest in the solar system. It has mountains and volcanoes, but its atmosphere is made up of toxic greenhouse gases that are trapped by thick clouds of sulfuric acid. These thick clouds are also how the heat provided by the Sun is retained, contributing to why it is the hottest planet. Venus is very similar to Earth in terms of its size and structure, so it's commonly referred to as Earth's twin. However, Earth is slightly bigger. Venus spins very slowly in the opposite direction to Earth. Its rotation is so slow that one day on Venus is the same as 243 Earth days. However, Venus takes just 225 Earth days to make a full orbit around the Sun. Just like Mercury, Venus does not have any moons. Moving on to the third planet from the Sun is our very own Earth. Earth is the only planet we know of that supports life. It contains two crucial elements that make it possible for living things to survive. An atmosphere that is rich in oxygen and an enormous supply of water. Did you know that around 70% of Earth's surface is covered in water? As we have learned, Earth is a terrestrial planet, so it has solid and rocky surfaces. Our lands are made up of canyons, valleys, mountains, volcanoes and much, much more. Earth only has one moon and it takes 24 hours to make one full rotation. It takes Earth 365 days to make a full orbit around the Sun. Moving on to the fourth planet from the Sun is Mars. 
Mars is commonly known as the red planet because its rusty ground makes it appear red. It is about half the size of Earth and it has two moons called Phobos and Deimos. As you can see, unlike Earth's moon, Mars's moons are irregular in shape and size. They are covered in craters and look like asteroids. Mars is a rocky planet and has mountains and volcanoes just like Earth. However, they are all dead. It has a thin atmosphere and is made up of oxygen and carbon dioxide. Scientists have sent more rockets and spaceships to Mars than any other planet because they want to study its history and surface. This is because they believe Mars has the potential to support life there. From their studies, scientists have found water ice caps on Mars and are still researching them to see if liquid water exists on Mars. One day on Mars is about 24.6 hours and it takes 687 Earth days for Mars to travel around the Sun. It is now time to take a closer look at the Jovian planets, starting with Jupiter which is the fifth planet from the Sun. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system. It is a gas giant that is mainly made up of hydrogen and helium, but it has a small rocky core. Jupiter has between 80 to 95 moons. Its largest moon is called Ganymede. Jupiter has a thick atmosphere and is lively with powerful storms that are constantly raging near its surface. In fact, there is one gigantic storm called the Great Red Spot that has been spinning like an anticyclone for hundreds of years. Jupiter has a ring system, but they are too faint to be able to see well. Although it is huge in size, it spins around quite quickly as one day on Jupiter is only about 10 hours. However, it takes 11.8 Earth years to orbit around the Sun. Up next is the sixth planet from the Sun, which is Saturn. Saturn is the second largest planet in our solar system and just like Jupiter, it is a gas giant that is made up of mostly hydrogen and helium. It is most famous for its glorious ring system, which are made of chunks of ice and rock. To date, Saturn has 146 moons which range in size and shape. One day on Saturn only lasts around 10.7 hours and it takes Saturn 29 Earth years to orbit around the Sun. It is the furthest planet that can be seen from Earth with the naked eye. Next comes the seventh planet from the Sun, which is Uranus. It is the third largest planet in the solar system and is surrounded by 13 faint rings. Just like Venus, Uranus rotates in the opposite direction to other planets. However, it is even more different to other planets because it is so tilted that it also rotates on its side. Its temperature is the complete opposite to Venus though because it is the coldest planet in the solar system. It is known as an ice giant because it is mainly made up of water, methane and ammonia ice. The methane is what gives it its blue colour. Uranus has 27 known moons. One day on Uranus is around 17 hours long and it takes 84 years to travel around the Sun. Now on to the last planet in our solar system, Neptune. Neptune is the eighth planet from the Sun and just like Uranus, it is considered to be an ice giant. It is the second coldest planet in the solar system and its atmosphere is similar to Uranus because it is made up of water, ammonia and methane, which is why it is also blue in colour. However, unlike Uranus which is calm, Neptune is extremely windy and experiences raging storms. Like the other Jovian planets, Neptune has a ring system around it, but they are very faint and difficult to see. Also like other Jovian planets, Neptune has moons of its own, 14 of them to be exact. One day on Neptune is only 16 hours, but out of all the planets in the solar system, it has the longest journey around the Sun. One year on Neptune is equivalent to 165 years on Earth. The solar system is a fascinating topic to explore. It is estimated to be around 4.6 billion years old. We have only learned about the eight planets that surround the Sun, but there are more than 170 moons, millions of comets and asteroids as well as dwarf planets that are yet to be explored. You can think of the solar system as our very own neighbourhood, with all the planets as our neighbours that orbit around one central star which is our very own Sun. It keeps us all in balance with its enormous pull of gravity. Without the Sun, there would be no light, no heat, no life. There is still so much to explore and discover in our universe. Perhaps you could be the next astronomer to make mind-blowing discoveries. Thanks for watching. 
please remember to subscribe for more videos.